When the next generation of gaming finally arrived in November last year, there were a handful of great titles, but very few fresh IPs to choose from. You had Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, a game which I've reviewed on this channel, offering up a fantastic story and characters, but doing very little to innovate the series. And then we had Demon Souls offering a remake of a game from over a decade ago. So when I heard that Godfall would be a launch title, it was obvious to me that many players would see this as a beacon of hope, perhaps offering the next gaming powerhouse, the next Destiny even. However, upon launch it was far from the case. When Godfall was first reviewed by critics, it was found to be lacking in several areas. The world design was bland, the combat was shallow and repetitive, and the narrative of the title did very little to push the player towards the finish line. Overall the game was a bit of a letdown, as many launch titles have been in the past. However, I wasn't ready to give up on the title just yet, considering many games including the likes of Division and Destiny grew stronger over time as their developers added content and fresh gameplay mechanics, improving the overall gameplay experience. That's the key word here, improving. So with that in mind, I wanted to review Godfall 5 months after release, to check the current state of affairs and to let you know whether or not this game is even worth your time today. In this review, I'll be focusing on what's new instead of rehashing what's already available. However, with that being said, one aspect of this game deserves praise and it has done since day one. That is the visual splendour on offer. If Godfall was a tech demo to showcase the graphical performance of the PS5 at launch, then it would have been quite impressive. The textures, lighting, animations and effects are all sublime, culminating in an overall presentation that is admirable. However, other aspects would let the title down, making it a highlight of an otherwise hollow experience. There have been several hotfixes to the game which have all but eradicated the day one bugs. However, it is the primal update that has come along to try and fix the reportedly stale gameplay. This update was released for free in February and offered players a range of new ascension levels, new powers, bonuses and the Towers of Trials received an overhaul, with brand new primal items being added into the lineup. It's good to see that the developers are dedicated to this title's improvement, but in all honesty it's still very much lacking. The developer may have added more content and progression, but considering the content available wasn't all that compelling to begin with, this is like trying to put out a fire by lighting another. The combat is still a slog, looting is still pretty unappealing and the level design is incredibly repetitive. Plus, can we please talk about the need to smash every container in a huge area before you move to the next? In short, the game feels like a huge chore, and more added content won't fix that. The developers have outlined a roadmap for DLC coming to the game between April and June, but in all honesty I'm genuinely shocked that this is still paid DLC. We're talking about at most a couple of new locations, a few new weapons and maybe some added lore, but we're living in times where giants like Call of Duty and Fortnite are offering players access to continuous content at no extra cost. It's obvious that this game has to recoup on its losses, but it's very hard to imagine a lot of gamers forking out a chunk of cash for added Godfall content. This may come at a good time if the developer releases the DLC in tandem with the Xbox Series X and S release. However, even with the plan to target this new player base in mind, I would assume that these players will be aware of this game's core shortcomings. Instead of telling you what the developer has improved, it's perhaps easier to tell you all the areas the developer failed to reinvent. The boss battles are still stale affairs that focus on ranged combat for some reason. The Valor Plates feature is still dull and after a few hours the whole experience becomes a predictable slog. The new content perhaps delays this but inevitably players will eventually turn this one off and unless the game is rebuilt and revamped, there's absolutely no reason to return. So here it is. The base Godfall experience can be a fun and an extremely pretty gear based action game for a time, but the repetition of its missions wears thin before long. Unfortunately, Godfall is your stereotypical next gen launch title that has that well known combination of stylized art and visuals combined with lackluster gameplay. Back in November, I would have probably given this game a 5 out of 10 score, and thanks to some quality of life fixes and added content, Godfall manages to raise the bar ever slightly. The visuals are still what makes up most of the praise for this title. The combat is dull but at least it's functional, and in terms of endgame content, it's definitely more bearable with the new Primal update, 
However, as a whole this feels like putting a plaster on a gaping wound. This game needed to make a major U-turn to win back the potential fanbase it targeted and sadly it hasn't managed that at all. For those that purchased the Ascension version of this tile, I would wager you will be the only players brave enough to weather the new DLC content. I don't expect a lot from this considering the weak narrative of the main game. To sum up, Godfall 5 months on, it's a little better for sure, it's just nowhere near the standard it needs to be to earn the praise it wanted on launch. It's that pretty game you show off to your friends, highlighting your new next gen console, but once they leave, it's back to raging at kids in Warzone or Fortnite. Hey guys, Saiyan Prince here and I hope you enjoyed that review. Becoming a full time content creator is my dream and I'm so close to making that my reality. So if you're watching this video then do me a huge favour and hit that like button down below, comment your thoughts and of course subscribe. It would mean the world to me and I'll catch you all on the next video.